The young children pictured here belonged to the last generation to consider photographs a luxury. But even with the billions of images that would be captured on film over the coming years, it's possible that these are the only surviving visual records of these brief childhoods. If so, you really couldn't find a better portrait. The kids are shown here doing what kids do best, bearing silent witness to the world in front of them. This gathering from May 11, 1919, forms the second strand in our memory chain. It's a portrait of the Thomas and Mayflower Lodges and the household of Ruth, the colored auxiliaries of the Order of Oddfellows. They met Monday and Thursday evenings above a small business run by William LaFoon of Terre Haute, Indiana. This circuit photograph was taken just a few miles in a couple months from our first picture from the photographer's picnic. But being that they were both taken in 1919, they were actually light years apart. Even the youngest children here were acquainted with the dangers that existed in the world out there. In 1919, America would experience over 350 race riots, igniting the country from Chicago, Illinois, to Omaha, Nebraska, to Phillips County, Arkansas. So many of the details have been buried with history. The legacy for the nation moving forward arose from what many thousands of children bore witness to back then images that would become stories for generations to come. Over the course of their lives, these children, and at least some of these adults, would experience a sea change in race relations felt from the ground up. Perhaps everyone in this group sensed it coming on that Sunday in May. Maybe that's why they gathered here. Notice this leafless tree in front. It's shaped just like a divining rod, bending towards the earth in hopes of someday finding the healing waters below. <laughs> 